Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at how to use React.js as the front-end library in our Express.js application which is running inside Node. So to follow along this tutorial you need a new version of Node and NPM. Go ahead and create a folder, I've named mine React Express, then create a subfolder uh, called Backend where we're gonna keep the Node.js server. But first of all, let's go ahead and uh, create a new React project. So npx create React app, and let's call this project frontend. And let's just wait while uh, this installs. And that's it, it's installed. So let's go ahead and see the into the front end. We're gonna open up the front end here and click package.json. And we're gonna add a home page property inside here. We're gonna set it to the root so React knows where to where the website is served from. Go ahead and save it and close it. Now we're not gonna do anything more with the front end, we're simply gonna run build, which will create a build folder for the front end. And there we go, the build is complete. So what we're gonna do now, go ahead and open up this folder. And in the front end, folder copy the build folder go to the backend folder and paste the build folder so that's it for the front end application which is now a react app we're not gonna do anything at all with it we're just gonna use it use it as it is to try it out and serve it from node.js with express all right so cd back and cd to the back end and we're gonna do an npm init to initialize a new node project. Package name can be backend, version one, no description. Entry point can be main.js instead of index.js. And the rest we can leave as is. All right, we're also gonna need to install uh, express, so npm install express and save to save it to the package.json file. And that's it, it's installed. So inside the backend folder, let's go ahead and create a new file. We can save this as main.js, which is gonna be our main entry point. Also open up package.json and inside scripts here, it's gonna add npm start, so we can use the npm start command to start the server. And to start it, we're gonna use node main. All right. So just to try it out, let's just do a console log. Hello. Run npm start. Missing script start. Let's see. Oh, it's not supposed to be npm start. We're just gonna call it start. Sorry. So start and node main. Now let's try an npm start. And we're getting the hello console.log here. All right. So now we're just gonna create this very simple express application inside Node. Uh, and we're gonna serve the React.js app we just built. So we're gonna include a couple of libraries. Let's start with express. So require express, and then app, and then just call the express, express function to initialize express. And then we're going to use the path as well, which comes default from node. So require path, then we're going to say app use 
uh, express.static what this does it tells express where to st serve static files from and we're gonna use this uh, path join here passing dir name and then uh, build which is the build folder all right and this path join what it does is takes multiple segments in this case the direction name and build folder and make turns it into a, a path on your client okay and then it's gonna say app.get so very simple route here express express uh, we're gonna pass in rec for requests request and rest for response I'm gonna say rest send file and the file we want to send is then the index.html all right from the front end so path join online online till name build and the file we want to serve or send is index.html if we run this nothing will happen yet because the this app ain't listening on a port yet so we're gonna say app listen port 3000 like that so let's go ahead and try to start it now oops and type start and it seems like everything has started so let's, let's just uh, open up localhost for 3000 and you can see that our app.js is uh, running inside express so this is the react front end all right now as you know you use fetch inside react.js to call apis uh, normally if you don't do it this way with the react if you're using the application the front end application and the back end application uh, on different ports you need cores for cross origin resource resource sharing to communicate between the front end and back end uh, by doing it this way you do not need cores so this simplifies uh, stuff quite a bit um, and yeah that's it for how to use react.js as the front end li library for an express application now if you want to create a build uh, and edit the front end the react.js application what you would do is uh, make your changes then run npm build again then copy the folder to the back end you can also if you don't want to do it manually you can also go in here to the build folder and after the react scripts build which is run when you type npm build to build application you can add and and then depending on which operating system you're on you could for example do an x copy on windows uh, to copy the build folder after the build directly into the back end all right so you won't have to do it manually but i'm not gonna do that now because i don't know which operating system you're using but it's a tip all right so thank you bye bye